Hey guys, this is Dan from Leisure Support. How are you doing today? So today is going to be a short video and we are going to talk about how to change your passphrase pen. So this video is not about how to change your regular pen. Okay, the regular pen is the pen you got when you first set up the device and you got your 24 word recovery phrase um, that was generated by the device. Uh, and yeah, you had to set a pin during that flow. This is not about that. This is about how to change the pin that you attach to a passphrase. If passphrase is not a term that's familiar to you, then I would suggest that you first um, go on our uh, YouTube channel and check the video passphrase basics and you come back and watch this video. Okay, because here I'm going to assume that you already have a passphrase inside your device and you've attached a pin to it. So this video again, is to show you how to change your passphrase pin, not your regular pin. So um, just a few words about my current setup. So I have this recovery phrase that's seated into my Ledger Nano S here, Nano S Plus actually, my Ledger Nano S Plus. This recovery phrase is seated into the device. The device also has a passphrase that's linked to that recovery phrase and that passphrase is Dan. My current pin, so my normal pin is 1111. So I'll show you in a second. So if I switch up the device, switch it back on, I type 1111. Okay, this pin will unlock my regular private key secured by my 24 word recovery phrase. But I also have a passphrase then uh, in memory, and that one is secured by the pin. Four 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 four. So I'll show you on the device. Up four 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 and four. And now the device is loaded with my uh, passphrase private keys. Okay. So these are the private keys that are secured by my recovery phrase and my passphrase. Okay. Um, so. Now I want to change my passphrase pin from 4444 to 2222, four times two. Okay, that's the passphrase that I want. So how do I do it? And the answer is very simple. It's basically the same steps that you that you did to set up your passphrase in the first place. Okay, so the steps to set up your passphrase, change your passphrase pin, restore your passphrase accounts, and um, change your passphrase are always the same okay always the same and they always involve the same menu the same flow which is a little bit confusing for some users and that's the reason why we don't recommend uh, new users to use a passphrase okay you need a little bit of uh, experience with the normal device before you uh, go into passphrases in my opinion okay so back to my passphrase situation here my current passphrase pin is four times four what i want is four times two so the first thing to note here is that I don't need to be unlocked with my passphrase uh, pin if I want to change my passphrase pin. Okay, I could be I could unlock my device with my current pin or my passphrase pin. It doesn't really matter. Okay, the flow is exactly the same. So I'm going in to go into the settings here. Sorry, the control center. I'm going to hold both buttons. Oh, now I'm in the control center. I'm going to press settings. Go into security chain uh, sorry passphrase here's a bunch of disclaimer that you need to read uh no i don't want to go back i want to set up a passphrase so you can see like the steps for uh, changing my passphrase pins are exactly the same as for setting up the passphrase in the first place which is quite confusing so um here i'm going to select set up passphrase attach to pin choose passphrase pin so this is the passphrase pin that i want in my case, it's four times two. Two, 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 and two. Now I'm going to confirm that pin, my new passphrase pin again. So two, 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 two. Now enter the passphrase. That's the passphrase that I initially set up, okay, with the old pin. Um, so that would be done, the passphrase is still the same, okay? So I'm going to type Dan. Oh, uh, I typed Dan instead of Dan. No worries, I can um, correct that. I just need to use 
do a little delete icon here and then change the letter from M to N, no worries. Up and then I'm going to validate that. Confirm passphrase, it says Dan, looks good to me. And now confirm with current pin and this is what it gets a little tricky. The current pin is your current regular pin. Okay, so that's the pin you set up when you initially set up the device and got your 24 word recovery phrase. Not the current passphrase pin. And I know it's a little weird, but so the current pin in my case is 1111. That's the one I want to type in. One, one. Boom, now it's processing. And great, I'm all set. Passphrase is set. So my device is still loaded with my passphrase private keys now, but they are secured by my new passphrase pin, which is 2222. And I can demonstrate here. Uh, I'll show you that 4444 doesn't work um, as a passphrase, as a, as a pin anymore. So if I try to type 4444 and unlock the device with that, it should return an error. Yeah, it's an error. But if I try 2222, Then the device unlocks and I've loaded my passphrase private keys. And yeah, that's basically it guys. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas for future content or if you have any questions, you can comment in the details below and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video very soon. Bye.